Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna introduce you guys to the new Power BI paginated report builder. There's, there's been, Report Builder's been out for a long time. And Report Builder, the current Report Builder, or the one that was out before this happened, is optimized for on-premises SQL Server reporting services or the Power BI report server. Well, recently, right, well, you know, as of the recording of this video, we released one, Microsoft released a uh, one that's optimized for the service. Wait a minute, wait. instead of all this talking, you guys know what I like to do, let's head over my laptop. The first thing you wanna do is you need to get a copy of it. And so Chris Finland, you know, he's a PM on the, the reporting services of Power BI product team. And so he wrote a blog post about it and you click this link to download it, but that's not very efficient. Don't use that, right? Um, go over to Power BI and get signed in. And what you'll see is a little drop down, a little arrow, right? Click that arrow in the upper right corner and you'll see Report Builder right there. You click it, takes you to the download page, you click that and you walk through the installation process, okay? Once it's downloaded, you, you need to pay very close attention because there's a different icon between the old Report Builder and the new Report Builder. And so I have both of them pinned to my taskbar down here and you'll see here's the old Report Builder. This Report Builder allows you to connect to your on-premises reporting services or Power BI report server. The one that's optimized for the service doesn't provide that capability because you're going to the service. We don't want you to use this when, when you're designing re reports on premises or anything like that. It's not optimized for that. And I'll show you a few reasons why, all right? So once you have it downloaded, the next thing you want to do is you start building out your reports. First, create a data source, right? Click add data source. And you'll notice if you've worked with the old report builder, there's a long list of data sources. And this one, this one is a little bit shorter because like I said, it's only, it only, list those data sources that are supported by the service, right? Supported by paginated reports that you're gonna to publish to the service. You can see there's SQL Server, there's Azure, there's Oracle, there's Teradata, and there's analysis services. And what I like about this one is, you can actually connect to the new, well, you can connect to the XLM, XMLA endpoints that is available in Power BI, all right? So this is great. So if I built the model, published the model out, I can use that XMLA endpoint and connect and build my paginated reports against the exact same data set. This is phenomenal. Once the data set is created, then once the data source, I'm sorry, the data source is created, you can create data sets against you know, any of those data sources, then you can start building your reports by inserting charts or gauges or maps into your, and build you a nice report. Then when you're all done, you can save the report locally, you can preview the report, you can export it to different file types like PDFs and things like that. And then once you've determined that the report is ready to go, then you can use the get data option in Power BI to upload that report to the service. And then in future updates, what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow you to publish that report directly to the service using this new report builder. And you'll be able to even, you'll even be able to open up reports that's already published out in the service. This is great. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to see what the future holds for this guy, all right? If you have any questions about this, any comments for myself, Adam, or even Chris, right? Post them in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel. You know what to do hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.